resolution 165 and 182 and I'm going to turn the uh, the chair over to our vice chair and uh, uh, representative Dunham if you'll take over and become chairman I'm going to move to the to the other side along with Has that got it, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank that, you, and I understand we're doing LC441055. Is that correct? That's correct. And uh, uh, this one, of course, is this resolution is authorizes the state of Georgia acting through the State Properties Commission, which I have um, Frank Smith here, uh, to convey or lease certain state-owned properties and we have a list of those in the uh, folder for you to to look at and this is our annual um, uh, one of our annual lease uh, bills or resolutions here and I'm a, and Mr. Chairman I'm gonna ask that um, uh, Mr. Smith go through each one of these uh, for us. Yes sir thank you. Good afternoon, committee members. Um, as if you'll look through the conveyance synopsis that you have in your package, I will run through the highlights of these and please just ask any questions. Um, the first item in Chatham County conveyance of about 0 .02 of an acre to the city of Savannah for $10 in public purpose. This is a right of way adjacent to a city street. This will just help out the city uh, with some additional maintenance requirements. Um, the next item in Clayton County conveyance of about 1.4 acres in fee and 1.2 acres of a permanent easement to the Department of Transportation. This is part of the Atlanta Farmers Market. This will help GDOT um, uh, improve uh, the service and interchange at I-75 and 285. The next item in Colquitt County a conveyance of about 15 acres, which is known as the Southwest Probation Detention Center. Um, this detention center has been owned by the state and leased to the county for a number of years to serve state inmates, um, but is in need of repair. And the city would like to, or sorry, the county would like to own this in order to make the repairs and continue to serve state inmates. The next item in Forsyth County is a ground lease of about 0 0.68 acres. Uh, this would be to the city of Cumming. The city of Cumming needs to build a water tank to serve the community. This would be a 50 year lease for about $10,600 a year. Going to the second page in Hall County, conveyance of about 41 acres. This is the old Lanier Tech College. Um, you, you may be aware the Technical College has a new campus, uh, Lanier Tech. And this would be conveyed to the Board of Regents for $10 and be part of the University of North Georgia, which is adjacent. And the last item in Monroe County, a lease of approximately 276 square feet to Justice Federal Credit Union. Uh, the credit union already exists there in the Public Safety Training Center. This is just a renewal of this lease. It would be a 10-year lease with renewals for $5,000 per year. Any questions? Thank you. Good job. Thank you. We, this bill here, the resolution HR 165, um, I think we're going to percolate this time. You're over here at 12. There you go. I'd like to make a motion at this time to suspend the rule number five uh, so it could be uh, transmitted pretty quickly um, uh, so that we can 
line up at the front of the line for uh, getting this across the line. Yes. Well, so thank you. Okay. We at this time will take and uh, we'll vote on this. I'll make a motion to approve that. And second. 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 Okay. Everyone in favor say aye. Aye. Nay. Okay. It has passed. And uh, that will be H.R. 165. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, if there's no more questions, we'll pick up on the second one that we'll bring forward is H.R. 182. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is, uh, once again, uh, our, one of our annual um, resolutions to grant easements um, over certain state-owned properties. And we have a list of those in your county, and we are, sh we are pretty positive that on both of these bills or uh, resolutions that they will grow in the Senate, so you'll see them again. It, again. And that's the reason I think that we need to move things along and put, try to put this on a fast track to... Uh, take care you know how the senate is they're very slow about some of the processes over there so we have to uh sort of prod them from time to time and this of course is uh, house resolution 182 and if you're looking at 182 it should be lc 44 10 72 and uh, at this time i'm going to ask uh, uh, frank if he will look at uh, talk to us about the, the, uh, this particular resolution. Mr. Chairman, I'm actually going to ask my assistant director to okay. address those if that's all right. She's a lot prettier. <laughs> yeah, amen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Second. Good afternoon, members. Um, Elisa Pereira with the State Properties Commission. Um, in regards to HR 182, you have six easements that are here for authorization. The first one being in Barrow County to the Georgia Power Company for approximately one acre. The property is in the custody of Department of Natural Resources, and Georgia Power needs to construct electrical distribution lines that will serve the new visitor center at Fort Argo State Park. The easement will be for $10. Um, the second one is in Camden County. It is, again, to Georgia Power Company. The easement will be over approximately 1.56 acres. The property is in custody of the Technical College System of Georgia. And Georgia Power needs the property in order to construct overhead and underground electrical distribution lines to serve a project of TCSG. Um, it's actually a classroom and library building at Cam Camden County campus of Coastal Pines Technical College. And the easement itself will be for $10. The third is an easement in Cobb County. The easement will be to the city of Marietta. Um, they need approximately 0 0.0157 of an acre easement. The property is actually in custody of the State Properties Commission, and it's a portion of the Western Atlantic Railroad. Um, the city would like to construct a pedestrian trail crossing over the railroad. Therefore, the easement will be for a cost of $1,879. The fourth easement is in Floyd County, and it's to North Georgia Electrical Membership Corporation, and it is over approximately 0 .08 of an acre. The property is in the custody of the Department of Natural Resources, and North Georgia Electrical Membership Corporation needs to construct underground electrical distribution lines in order to serve the Department Region 1 Game Management and Fisheries Office buildings. Therefore, the easement will be for $10. <coughs> the fifth easement is in Houston <coughs> County. It's to Flint Energies Incorporated, and it will um, be over approximately 0 .0449 of an acre. Oh, sorry, 0 .449 of an acre. And the property is in the custody of DNR and Flint Energies will construct underground electrical equipment and lighting poles in order to serve Flat Creek Public Fishing Area and the easement will be for $10. And the last easement is in White County and it will be to Habersham Electrical Membership Corporation over approximately 0.3 of an acre. Again the property is in the custody of DNR and Habersham Electrical Membership Corporation will, un will construct underground electrical equipment and distribution lines, and they will serve, it will be to serve a new sign at Hardman Farm Historic Site. And the easement cost will be $10. Thank you very much. Any questions for the chairman? Mr. Chairman, I would like to, yes. would you, can I um, yes, make a recommendation? Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to recommend that we suspend the rule number five and let me read that so that we are all on the same page uh, which says no action shall be taken on a bill or resolution at its first presentation to the committee but these are um 
normal and the um, recurring uh, bills that we have in this committee uh, and as a means of getting this out so that we can go ahead and cross over to the other side. Uh, I, I move that we suspend that rule number five at this time. Yes, sir. And to, to let everybody know in here, Representative Chairman Dickey came in and asked a question. That's what we have these for is for each one of you. If you have a question in your district to bring forward to us, so we don't ever want to rush anything through. But if we get it to the Senate, this is critical to where it doesn't backlog up day 39 and day 40. So if there's ever a question, we're above board. But thank you very much for bringing that. And if we could at the moment, we're voting on House Resolution 182. Everyone for, say aye. 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 Any against, say nay. So it looks like it has passed Chairman, us. Yes. Um, I think we, his motion was was never voted on. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. So everybody, you, we've got a second to vote on uh, the motion. So been rule number five. Everybody, aye. 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 Nay. Okay, now we'll go back and vote on that again. So every, do pass. Good deal. Okay, so. Here we are. Everybody for? Say aye. 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 Everyone against? Good. Sound like crickets. And Mr. Chairman, um, just to let you and the rest of the members know, each one of the uh, affected delegations were notified uh, if they had any questions or anything to notify the state properties or uh, my office. And, um, uh, and I assume that's why I represent Dickey. Uh, Chairman Dickey came by to to talk about uh, uh, the one that he was interested in, and that's that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that it's uh, very very clear to the members what we're what we're doing as a whole. And Mr. Chairman, if I might, I, this is the legislative attorney that uh, I'm. Uh, this is Paul Higby, and Paul is going to be working with us during the the session on a lot of issues so if you have questions uh, concerning any state properties they he will be and of course you're back with us now and David Hartman is our policy analysis uh, um, a person and of course we know our uh, state properties uh, people that have worked with and I really appreciate y'all coming today and I'm gonna come back to the to the uh, thing Mr. Chairman thank you Thank you all so much. We have um, probably this coming week, we have an issue that needs to be talked about in this committee, and that is concerning our, 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 our county work uh, camps. We have a number of individuals that have requested information about uh, the cost factor, and this has been something that we've had to deal with for years, and certainly we will... Uh, we are going to try to work out something where do we will have some hearings on those particular things and talk about some of the issues that uh, we have. We also have some issues that deal with our prisons that we need to be paying attention to, and there are a number of, there's a Senate bill that's coming over that uh, we hope that it will come over. If not, we'll try to do something about it. It's the problems that we're having with drones. Uh, at our prisons. Uh, this has become a real issue in the state and if you could, uh, I think several of us went down and visited and saw some of the uh, contraband that was being brought in by these drones. It's amazing. They can direct it right to the individual and they know what time it's coming, they know what it is and they can just reach out and get it and uh, it has become a real, real problem in our prisons. Do we have any questions from the committee or anything that we need to look at? Like All right, let me, uh, if you'll. I think I'm talking, I don't know. Six. Six. There we go. Uh, next Tuesday afternoon um, at 1.30 in the rotunda, there are, um, there, Commissioner Timothy Ward will be um, honored a need was brought to his attention for female inmates, and he took care of the need without any kind of um, 
coercion or fussing or he anyway he just handled the need for them to have some basic supplies that they needed that they had not been being supplied with and uh, there are women's groups for all, all across the state that are going to thank him for that publicly and um, I just anybody on the committee that knows Mr. Ward that want to go and tell him that they appreciate what he's done as well would be appropriate probably. Tell us the time and date again. 1.30 Tuesday afternoon the 19th of February in the rotunda. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Do we have any other uh, announcements or anything to come before the committee? If not, we stand adjourned. Thank you all, all for coming.